I'm Ajne or Zell, and I am the like CEO, uh, writer, whatever, director, lots of things um, for Aeon Dream Studios. And I have Anna or Adler mm -hmm. here with me, and she is the lead creative writer or um, like the lore master. She does all our world building, and she's also um, the lead writer for Shinji's Route, which is what we're working on right now. And this is our first mystic uh, blog, blog, whatever. Okay, so do you want to say hi? We get these questions. Well, don't really know what to say. Um, just welcome everyone to our blog thing. So we asked for uh, questions to discuss, and if I'm looking down, I'm looking at the questions. Um, to discuss during this time, and I'm sorry if we're like a little disorganized. We're doing our best. We've never done this before. Um, so basically, we want to provide a story update first on like how's the route going, um, because that's what people were asking for the most. Basically, what's going well. Uh, also, Jess, Jesso, that's how you pronounce it apparently. Um, so I will be reading her answers for her. Um, so on her side, let's start with the art for our uh, like our bi-weekly, if we do this bi-weekly story update. H half of our sprites are done for Shinji's route. I don't know how many new characters we have. We have a ton. She said to mention it. But, uh, there's Isa, there's Mickey, there's Sorcha, uh, Sirsha, whatever. There's Killian, then it's gonna... Um, Lachlan's kind of not done. But he has been drawn and he's, you know, just needs to be perfected. So yeah, like four, um, at least four new characters um, that have sprites and about half of those are done, according to Jess. On our side, the writing's been going um, a little bit slower because we've been trying to get prepared properly because we really want to... I really want to do a better job this time, and I don't want to have to rush all at the end. I will say honestly that at the end of Joe's route, the end of Tetsuya's route, uh, I had to really rush and um, stay up late and mess up my sleep schedule, and I'm trying to avoid that, so I wanted to actually put more focus on having um, neater, like neater plot descriptions and um, neater scripts that I don't have to do as much editing with. So um, it's been slower at the start, but I think overall, once we start, which is really probably officially going to start this week, um, that will, it'll go much more smoother, and we won't have to rush and stay up late. Because I know that our fans are really nice and they worry about us, so I don't really want to go through that again. Um, basically, any challenge that we're facing. Well, Jess's laptop kind of blew up yesterday. Um, it's, it's working again, but she had to really solve it. She's salvaging her art right now, and um, that's probably our biggest challenge right now. We don't know if she's going to need another laptop or not, but stuff like that always slows us down. But on the flip side, uh, Agle got a new desktop, I think, or she's using a new desktop, so that probably helps. Does that help? Yeah, it actually does. Uh, it's my brother's old one. Uh, he built it himself, so... I mean, it's, it's like a few years old at least, but even now it, it just works so much better than right. the laptop. Okay. And the, the huge screen helps a lot because, uh, I mean, my laptop wasn't that big. Right. And so, yeah, it, it does help. It just Also, now I have a desk. I used to... Yeah, a proper workstation like going on now. Yeah, I, I, I pretty much worked in the living room for, god, how long was it? I don't even uh, remember. <laughs> like a half a year or something? Well, if you count the time since you've moved, because we had a lot of changes, people moving different places and stuff. Um, I think you've been working out in the, in the living room on like an old laptop for at least since the end of show's route, somewhere around there. There's epilogue, I think somewhere around there. Um, yeah, I think so, actually. Um, because I do remember, I moved right 
after show, I think, or close yeah. to like, like the right end. Right between this epilogue, I think, something like that. Mm. Yeah, so that was interesting, and I've been working on a laptop in the living room, uh, which could well, it was a bit annoying because my mom watches TV there, so you know. Right, so all that stuff combined really um, slows us down, but I think that everyone is. We're getting used to being developers. We're getting, we're understanding what we need to change um, to work better. And I think, so I think that this route is probably going to be uh, goes smoothly. It's, I mean, yeah, we had her laptop blow up, but at least she's getting her art back, and we'll get her another laptop if that's what's needed. Um, so I think that that's pretty much all the challenges we face um, that we've been facing so far. Unless you have anything to add, we can go on to the fan questions. The plot description is going quite well. It is kind of ridiculously detailed, so... I saw it. Yeah, it's very, very neat and detailed. It's, it's, it should make writing just a piece of cake, I think. Because um, when you, once we get to the scripts and once if we do have a very detailed plot description beforehand, it does become very easy to write because um, I do remember while we were still writing show um, towards the end when it was all very crazy and we didn't sleep and we were just dying yeah. um, it, it did help to keep going because we had these plot descriptions we didn't have to think pretty much mm -hmm. it was just there just write it down and transfer it so while we were dying it was it could have been worse. Honestly. Yeah. I mean, I'm the plot. So basically, the plot descriptions. This actually goes into the first fan question of what's the writing process like. Um, basically, we do plot descriptions first, um, which are just like each chapter detailed out what we want to happen, and we do that before we start writing the actual script. Um, my, I find it very hard to do it because I'm just not. A planner like I make up a lot of my for my process I make up a lot of what happens um, along the way um, I do need some structure but I don't need I don't I'm not usually able to put down as much detail as I, as I want to and I'm trying to work on it it's like part, one of my weaknesses as a writer um, and uh, so basically yeah that's that's our process is just putting down the plot first and then we go to the actual script which we um, use our uh, Celtics, Celtics for, um, I think that's really about it. I mean, I guess, well, before, even before the plot descriptions, we have already worked on, we have a person, like a private wiki, which we have already worked on, and that's mostly, uh, Agle's, uh, like, area to play and make most of the, like, little details, like, there's some incredibly detailed stuff in there. That we haven't been able to show yet but it's so useful when we go back to it and we're like okay we need to know about this we pull up the wiki um and then we have all this detailed stuff and we don't have to think about it. it's the same thing as the plot descriptions um basically we it helps us not have to think about it so we do we did that we did a lot of our character building like way at the beginning way at the beginning like in august or september that's when we did most of our character development so these characters are already already fleshed out they already have their set personalities um they get more in depth when we actually get to the route we um still build upon their character but they're pretty set already so um we start with that and then um we go to the plot descriptions and then we do the script um so yeah that's that's basically it for my point of view well i think we should note that we do the plot descriptions because um how we write the scripts is we write one chapter each so say Ajane writes the first one, I write the second one, then she writes the third one and so on. Uh, having the plot descriptions helps sort of work like that because we can write a chapter, uh, say I write chapter two but chapter one hasn't been written yet. Uh, normally without the plot description that would be kind of hard. Impossible. Because, <laughs> yeah, pretty much because yeah. you don't know what, what, what what happens before that so you don't know and but with the plot description you do know what happens um maybe not i mean there might be some details tweaked but that can just be all fixed and editing really so right 
Um, so also, um, we the plot descriptions aren't strict. Like if somebody has an idea to add a scene or to flesh out a, a scene more, which, that happens during the actual writing of the script. Like uh, show's first CG, I think. I that wasn't in the plot description. I just kind of had this idea, and then I ran it by uh, Agwe, and she was like, "Yeah, sure, cool, go for it." So then it ended up being a CG. I mean, it wasn't planned, but little. So there's sometimes little moments like that. But the plot descriptions help keep us like on task and keep our plot tight. And because I can also, um, I'm the editor as well, so I also look over the plot descriptions before we start writing. And you know, if there's any plot holes or any areas, I try to get it before we even start writing the script. Um, but then also after we're done with the, writing the script, there's editing and editing catches a lot of the inconsistencies that might exist. It's more, it's kind of like rewriting, but it's not, we don't, I don't usually have to rewrite much because we've already gone through the plot description and the actual script and discussing it back and forth. So um, I think all of that helps our quality a lot because we have like a lot, our story goes through a lot of steps, you know, the world building, um, and then the plot descriptions and the actual script and then us communicating back and forth and then actual editing and sometimes I edit it like twice you know if I have time that's where and that's why there's all this work at the end so, so I want to make sure I have more time to edit for now on I mean I'm sorry about typos <laughs> that might get through but we are doing our best we are just the three of us um, Jess helps too and um, I'm trying to get better with that. I've got like add-ons and stuff to help me, but um, we are getting beta testers and that will definitely help little things like that. My biggest priority when I'm editing is not, you know, every little tiny typo um, so much as making sure that the story is like, you know, really good. Really what the writer, the, whoever the lead writer is for that route wants it to be. And when I say lead writer, I mean that we each have a character. We have characters that we created and we're kind of in charge of that character.